Saddles are designed differently for men and for women. This saddle is designed for a woman. Soft seat, crotch comfort, narrow twist, wider seam, and wider seat width. A male saddle has a narrow seat width, a narrow waist, and a wide twist. The male saddle has a shorter stirrup bar. The female saddle has the stirrup bar further back. A male rider has a shorter upper leg, longer lower leg. Shorter upper leg means stirrup bar needs to go further forward. A female has a longer upper leg, shorter lower leg. Longer upper leg means longer stirrup bar further back. The male saddle has a straighter panel, a straighter flap. If a female rides in the male saddle, she's very fast in the chair position. Her leg goes over the straight flap and her leg will shoot in front so that the shoulder hips and heel alignment is very hard for the rider to get. If I put a big thigh roll in and I force that knee back, the rider will get pushed forward. An extreme hollow back will create and the lumbar, the disc will be under severe stress and that is written up in medical books of long-term damage to rider. On the female saddles, the panels, the flap, it's angled a little bit more forward to accommodate the longer upper leg on the female. We see the same amount of leather in front of the leg than in the back of the leg. Very upright shoulders, hips and heels. This is what we're looking forward in a nice fitting saddle. The male pelvis axis is right in the middle. Easy for a male to balance himself on his seat bones. You see how his seat bone sits inside the seam. The front arch and the pubic symphysis is free. You also notice how his hip socket is open and how his leg can easily fall back. If a male rides in a female saddle, he feels that the saddle is a little bit wide. He can still sit level, does his pelvis tilt, is able to ride in the saddle, just feels a little wide for his seat bones. If a female sits on the male saddle, first thing what will impact is the pubic symphysis right here. We noticed how we hit first the seam, that's where the underwear line is, and then our seat bones hang right over the edge where no seat is. Now I have access pressure right in the center of the crotch and I lean back. Now if you put a female on the female saddle, keep in mind there is no tree here. It's just very, very, very soft foam and leather. So the first thing what will hit, it's the pubic symphysis but there is nothing underneath, there's a big hole. You see how she sits straight? You see now how there is no contact on the seam on the front seat bone and how she has support on the seat bone and right underneath the hip socket, the leg can fall nicely down and back and the rider is completely balanced. It's not falling back or forward and is solid supported comfortable, able now to give the aids to the horse by tilting back and forth without any pressure or discomfort. Riding shouldn't hurt. Ride pain-free for you, for your horse.